Lying entirely north of the Arctic Circle, Gates of the Arctic National Park and Preserve is the premier wilderness park within the national park system. Rivers and forests, mountain and valleys remain virtually unchanged except by the forces of nature. My name is Greg Dudgeon. I'm the superintendent for Gates of the Arctic National Park and Preserve. While I live in Fairbanks, Alaska, I have the opportunity and the responsibility for protecting and sharing the 8 million acres of Gates of the Arctic National Park and Preserve with the American people. The origins of Gates of the Arctic National Park and Preserve go back some 12,000 years when man started to move back into the area at the end of the last ice age uh, and, and did so in order to harvest the resources that were available there once, once the ice melted from the landscape. In the 1920s and the 1930s, uh, Americans like Bob Marshall started traveling into the area because it was one of the last empty places on the map in Alaska. People that were looking for places that they could go to and, and have a sense that no one else had, had stepped foot in the same place that they were at again. Gates the Arctic National Park and Preserve is unique in a number of ways. Uh, for one, of course, the, the park is 8 million acres, roughly the size of Switzerland. There are no roads, there are no trails, there are very few maintained facilities, and those are, are generally just small cabins. Gates of the Arctic has six designated wild rivers, and even though it's, it's primarily a place of mountains and, and high, frigid peaks, uh, within the valleys of those mountains are the corridors for migratory wildlife such as caribou, moose, bear, doll sheep, and birds that fly from nearly every continent to spend the summers there uh, where they raise their young. It's a place where the natural, environmental uniqueness of the Arctic can be experienced up close and personal. Gates of the Arctic National Park and Preserve lies west of the Dalton Highway, straddling the crest of the Brooks Range for nearly 200 miles. Most visitors arrive by bush plane from local villages or hike in off the Dalton Highway. Others call this wilderness home. Gates of the Arctic is an inhabited wilderness with two distinct Alaska native cultures living in or near the park. The Koyokan Athabascan live primarily in the boreal forest on the south side of the park. The Nunamut Eskimo generally live farther north. Both the Koyokan Athabascan and Nunamut Eskimo fish, hunt, and gather in the park and sustain age-old connections to the land. I look at a place like Gates of the Arctic, this immense, large, preserved wilderness area, and it makes me proud of, and it puts me in touch with, if you will, the, the, the history of this nation, the natural and the cultural history of who we are as a people. The landscape is wild, the wildlife there, uh, the natural ecosystems that are intact. The place looks like just exactly the way it was when it was created. And because it's a part of the National Park Service system, the mission and the goal there is to, main, is to manage it and to protect it in a way that people uh, decades, generations from now will see it and experience just as we do today.